Uh, welcome to the Ewe Den. This is lesson number two, and today we're going to add G major to our scale routine. So our first goal is to learn all 12 major scales and establish a routine where we play and say all 12 of them before we start practicing. Uh, before we get started today, here's a little bit of a heads up. If you go to the free membership area here and you go to projects for your first week, and you go down here to project number four, the octave rollers. That's gonna be very helpful for today. You could just pause this, go back and watch that and come back. That'll be absolutely worthwhile. And then we're going here to the lesson area and then we're scrolling down to the play alongs here. And today we're going to be using G major, the G major play along. So first thing I would do when I'm practicing is I would do both of my scales. So we did the C scale before, so I would say it like C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Then I would play it. Thinking the scale and singing the scale in your mind as you play. Doesn't matter if it's even or how fast it is. Just be thinking and doing the right fingering. Then we're going to move on to the G scale. And the G scale, it's alphabetically G to G, but when we get to F, we need to play F sharp. And make sure you say F sharp because F sharp, which is one, two, three, and the second circular key or your middle finger of your right hand is the note F sharp, which is a different note than F natural. So when you're playing it and saying it, say the word F sharp. Uh, we will need to use the octave roller and that's going to be engaged from between the note C and D, your thumb will go up one click, and on the way back down, it'll go from D to C, and your thumb will click back down a roller. And if you watch those uh, roller videos, uh, you're gonna catch on to a technique that'll help you to do that. So let's just say the G scale. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G. Then we're going to say it. Remember to say the notes in your mind while you play it, and certainly remind yourself of the F sharp. Awesome. So today for our improvisation, I always like to have a mission first. So our mission today is going to be first say the G scale, then play the G scale. It doesn't matter how long it takes. You can play nice long notes up and down. But then the, let's play the G scale an additional time and we'll use our bend down key. So we'll play the note, bend down and go up on every note. So I'm going to play the G scale again going bend down and back up on each note. And this will just start to get you on to using the bend down key. And then try to sing it in your mind, like what that's going to sound like and try to predict it. Here's G. So after we do the bend down exercise, then let's just improvise exactly the way we did in the first lesson. We'll play a phrase, play a long note, maybe bend it, or we could start the phrase with a long note in a bend, and then listen for a member of the rhythm section, whether it's the drums, piano, bass, whatever. Okay, so here we go. I am selecting the G major play along. Say the G scale. Here we go. G. 
go up and down the scale doing a bend down on every note. Start with the bend down. that as long as you want to the cl the tracks are nor generally about three minutes and then you can go back to the C major scale and do the same exact exercise okay tomorrow we're going to do F major